So I have nine new hives and every single one of them has had to start from no comb. So I thought what better thing to talk about than how to get your bees to dry out comb faster. So first we need to understand how the bees even makes, make wax to begin with. So there are eight plates on the stomach of a bee that are responsible for excreting a liquid that will then later solidify into the wax that they use to build the comb. And each worker bee in the hive has a different job depending on how old they are. So the bees that are drawing out the wax and building the comb are actually all less than two weeks old. So that being said, you need to have an active queen that is laying so that you are constantly bringing in new bees, new young bees that are two weeks or younger that are able to make this wax. So the more young bees you have, the quicker they're gonna be able to build that comb because the more hands they're gonna have on building it. And something that is good to remember is that bees are extremely efficient. So they're not gonna draw out that comb unless they have to. Building comb requires a lot of energy. So they also need a lot of food in order to do that. So if you have new hives that you're needing to build out the comb, Honestly, it's a good idea to feed when there's not a lot of nectar coming in or if you have a lot of a lot of beehives and there's they're all competing for that small amount of nectar that's in the area, then it's a really good idea to feed your bees so that they have that energy to build the comb. So bees generally draw the most comb from April until June because that is when a huge surge of nectar starts flowing into their hive so that they have enough energy in order to create that comb. But also this is when the temperatures are perfect. Bees don't really like to draw comb when it's hot outside, anything above 95 degrees and that comb becomes like butter and it just flaps around and it becomes so hard for them to form it and shape it into what they want it to be because it's too hot, it's too soft. But also when the temps are up, they are more concerned about keeping their brood alive. So anything above 95 degrees and they have to cool their hive down. And it takes a lot of work in order to do that, of them fanning their wings to create a fan to help circulate the entire hive. Because if it's too hot, the queen could die and the brood could die. So that's number one priority. If it's too hot, they're really not going to want to draw some comb. And the same thing applies to when the temps are cold, anything below 70 degrees, and that wax is pretty freaking hard. So it's hard for them. It's not very malleable. Um, it's not easy to be shaped. So they're not really gonna draw when it's cold either. So again, the temps have to be in range. So something that I'm gonna do today is I have this hive open and I'm gonna take out some of the frames that are just blank and empty inside the hive. And I'm gonna re rearrange some things to kind of trick them into building out the comb. So bees, when they're in their natural element, they live in old rotted trees and they live in like a sphere or a cluster. So in your, when you go into your box, you will notice, of course, that your bees are gonna stay generally in one area and they don't really venture out to the outer edges of the box unless they absolutely need, unless they absolutely need to. Like I said, bees only build comb if they have to. So if they need to have some place to store honey, if the hive is expanding quickly and they need more areas for the queen to lay more eggs, um, then they're gonna draw out more comb. So one trick that I am doing is I am gonna put in one of my empty frames right smack dab in the middle of the brood nest. You can do this in the summertime and you don't really have to stress about it that much as long as the temperatures are gonna be uh, a generally warmer and no colder than 60 degrees at night. Maybe like upper 50s, but just be careful with that. The summer is generally pretty warm, so you don't have a whole lot to worry about when doing this um, in terms of chilled brood. So what happens is when you put a blank sheet right in the middle of their nest, they're like, what the heck is this? And they start building it out because they don't like an empty sheet right in the middle. Okay, so I have these arranged how I'm gonna do them. Each one of these frames is filled with comb from front to back, completely filled out. So I'm gonna put some empty frames, one right here, right here, and right here. So pretty much like you're checkerboarding it. Um, 
so that they're pretty much forced to build out that comb because they don't like it when their brood nest is separated like this. And also something that I like to do on the frames that I'm moving is I will spray them with a sugar water mixture um, because this is gonna make the bees come to, oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is gonna make the bees want to come and see the frame and clean it up because there's sugar water all over it. So they will be forced to visit it and see what is going on. So generally they're gonna uh, fill out to the frames that are on the edges of the hive last. So another tip that I like to do, um, so you'll see a frame is filled out on one side and you can actually do this with any of the frames in your hive. It doesn't have to be the ones on the outside. But when you see they started to build the comb a little bit on this side, but this side is still completely empty. What you can do is you can literally just flip this and put the empty side so that it's touching where they already have comb built out and they will start building that side out. They will always build out frames that are closest to the brood nest and they will expand the brood nest out and up. Also, it's a good thing that I'm seeing there are a lot of young bees in here. So that's going to be really good for them building out the comb in this hive. Also, just another tip for any new beekeepers that are watching, when you put frames in your hive, make sure that once you have them all set in here, that you make sure that you have a little bit of space here from the side on both sides of your hive, but then all of the frames in between, make sure they are touching at every single little spot because if not, then what will happen is they'll start to build out honeycomb like they did here. Um, it's kind of hard for you to see, but might be able to see a little better now. But they started to build it out because I didn't have the frames close enough together. And it's just something that it's helped, it's, it's easier to keep your, your hive uh, organized and clean when you do it this way. That way everything's easier to get out and get to. Okay, so I also have this honey super here that they haven't touched at all. Like they haven't even, I mean, they're, they're on it now, but they haven't even started drawing out any of the comb. So I'm not gonna do it in this hive since I already kind of split them a little thin with uh, the way I checkerboarded. But what you can do is you can take one of these frames from one of your supers and you can actually put it right in the middle of two brood frames. Um, now, when you do this though, you only wanna do it for a couple days so that they, you see that they started to build out the comb and then you should move it out. So yeah, just throw one of these empty frames in between two brood frames, leave it for like maybe two to three days and then come back. If you forget about it, then um, they will actually start building out comb underneath it and you definitely don't want that, but that's a little trick to get them to start building out the comb in your supers when they're just ignoring them. Um, also, I do wanna mention though, how I checkerboarded in the brood box, do not ever do this in the this honey the, in the honey supers because the way they build out brood comb and the way they brood, they build out honeycomb is completely different. So brood comb, they're only gonna make them so deep because each cell has to be a certain size for the brood. Now with the honey though, they will build it out as far as they possibly can. So if you have built out, built out frames on some of them and then you just throw in a empty frame in the middle of honey frames, they're just gonna build those already existing built out frames to like out to the empty frame. They're not even gonna touch that empty frame. And then you're not gonna be able to get that frame out. So only do this in the brood box. Do not ever do this in the honey box. I feel like I'm kind of like jumbling this up and not explaining it clearly, but hopefully this makes sense to you. Okay, so one last tip. Let's say that your bees have completely filled up your honey supers, but there are still empty frames in your brood box. Say maybe you did a split and you had to put in some new frames in there and they just still haven't built them out and they're not building them out for some reason. 
What you can do is you can literally force them to do it. Like I said, bees won't do it unless they have to. So they don't generally want to build comb because of the amount of energy that it takes. So you can take away their honey supers and just leave them with what they have to have to figure it out and build out that comb. And they will build out that comb because you're taking away the only source of food that they had in their hive. So now they're forced to have to build out that comb because they need some place to store in all the new nectar that they're bringing in. So I don't know, that's a cool little tip that you can try. Okay, so there was a lot of information packed into this video. So I hope you were able to find something that you could take away to help you with your bees in your bee yard. And I know guys that I said my next video was gonna be about how to fix wonky comb, but the deep boxes that I ordered and all of the frames have not came in yet. The shipment's delayed. So as soon as those, as soon as those come in, I will be posting about that. So if you want to know how to fix wonky comb in your hives, I promise this will be the next video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified. I'll see you guys in the next one.